Scorpio, what up though? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Swimming Through the Void. Choo -choo. This will be a general message for the sign of Scorpio, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all have an eighth house part of our birth chart. We are all all of the signs, so take what resonates here and leave the rest for someone else. Time and energy are fluid family. So this may resonate now. This may have resonated in the past. It may be coming up. Um, these readings are timeless, so whenever you stumble across it, um, I trust that there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help you align, to help empower you on your journey. Tapping in with my Scorpio energy today, I used a, a few Oracle decks to help me catch a vibe as I'm connecting with the collective energy. I used this Sacred Power reading cards. I used the Wild Mystic, and I also used my trusty Illuminated Earth Oracle deck. Um, Scorpio. This is a very Scorpio season type reading here. First card, and this this is what Spirit wanted, kind of overlooking the energies here. We have this Purification card. You guys got the Transformation card in two decks. You got the Transform card, which is literally my Scorpios here, the Phoenix rising from the ashes in this Sacred Power Oracle. And you have the Transform from the Wild Mystic with this butterfly spreading its wings. We have the Chrysalis down here. Um, it, it feels like you're in the midst of a very powerful transformation, purification, and I'm hearing alignment. Um, it feels like you are almost stepping into a new world here, Scorpio. You're, you're with this exploration card, and I'm actually being guided to read this. So at some point I will read this, but with this exploration card, I saw it as you making it basically to this point, almost kind of like hermit vibes, where you're seeing things from a much higher perspective and you're overlooking like, where where am I gonna explore next? What's next? Um, I do feel that this is kind of integration phase. We have grow, collaborate, and then what came through in the illuminated earth is harmony, abundance, and moon so i'm seeing you entering a new cycle for f financially f you know with abundance in abundance as well i'm for some of you i'm hearing that financial blocks are being removed okay and this is part of that purification process so scorpio i feel like and i'm recording this during scorpio season happy birthday to all of my scorpios um belated or early um happy birthday if you're watching this on your birthday i feel like my scorpio has been doing work i mean straight up this does feel like a huge shift and we're moving into something beautiful something brand new spirit is saying to have compassion for yourself at this time to take care of yourself i'm just noticing this lotus energy coming through in your cards here scorpio no mud no lotus okay we have family over here as well and we have patience so some type of for some of you working through family stuff generational stuff um you guys this feels like big energy here I feel like um, this collaborate card, what I really felt from it intuitively was about you working with your guides, your angels, you working with the divine, your surroundings, the energies and spirits around you, however that looks for you, really connecting with the divine, connecting with the signs and synchronicities, um, and really collaborating um, to help you ascend through this shift through this transformation with this moon card um definitely highlighting intuition here so definitely connecting with your intuition but it's also about phases right and it does feel very much so like you're entering a new phase here very abundant one very harmonious one um, so with that, I'm going to pray real quick, Scorpio, and we will dive into these energies. I'm 
some of you I'm seeing root chakra for some of you I'm seeing Manipura solar plexus chakra for others I'm seeing throat chakra maybe doing some energetic balance and alignment right now kundalini yoga or breath work and or even like mantra japa where you're bringing your conscious awareness into these energy centers and you're saying a mantra into it you could say whatever mantra you want but the chance for the actual energy centers is starting from the bottom up lam l-a-m vam v-a-m ram r-a-m uh yam y-a-m ham h-a-m and om for the third eye and the crown chakra all right so let's get into this message holy divine mother and father holy spirit great spirit spirit guides guardian angels archangels ancestors messages for my scorpio gang for their highest good anything scorpio needs to hear today anything they need to know any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation any messages that will um empower my scorpios any messages that will bring healing wisdom understanding any messages that will help bring scorpio into alignment with their highest self their highest timeline their best life and of course above all any messages that will help align scorpio with divine will with your will most high will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory forever and ever um amen Ashe. You guys, I'm seeing you moving into big blessings. For some of you, there really is like some uh, abundance blockages, some financial blockages being removed. Maybe some of you are like paying debts in some way. Maybe some of you are uh, getting a raise or an inheritance of some sort. Um, I'm definitely with all of these fives coming through. I'm seeing you working through a lot of past stuff. For some of you, you're working through past family stuff. For some of you, you're working through relationship stuff romantic relationship stuff for some of you i'm even hearing you're working through past life stuff that is arising bubbling up to the surface during this scorpio season so this is some deep work and again this purification it feels like you will be moving through this portal feeling very renewed okay what do we have at the heart of the situation for scorpio please spirit I'm also hearing having compassion for everyone involved, realizing everybody involved is just you manifest outwardly. All the same actor in this divine play. Yep, for some of you, it's definitely in love here. Scorpio, in true Scorpio fashion, and this is for my Scorpios, my Scorpio placements, my 8th house people, y'all are moving through it, period. Scorpio, I ain't never in my life known a Scorpio or Scorpio dominant or prominent person to back down or to give up. Sure, we may go through it, we may hit rock bottom, we may stay there for a while, but I'm seeing you coming through as the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, where you are not going to let anything stop you from getting to your blessings, your Nine and your Ten of Pentacles. You're doing the work, you're staying as positive as you can, and I really feel like you're setting your sights on your blessings and on how you can get there at this time. With the Queen of Swords coming through, this is really about taking a step back. To me, this is about emotionally detaching from things a little bit. And when I say that, it's like that Five of Cups energy where it's like, oh man, all of these cups spilled. This cup is spilling down the drain. We can either sit in that energy or we can pull ourselves up out of that and shift our focus to realize that there's a full cup here and that all of these cups either spilled for a reason, they're empty for a reason, or they are spilling for a reason. It's almost that energy of like, everything happens for me, nothing happens to me. Just by shifting our mindset in that way, it can totally change our reality. It, it puts us into another dimension. It helps change our vibration. And it really helps us see the deeper underlying um, 
reasons and lessons within the happenings, right? How have my de decisions that I've made got me to where I'm at? How could I have done different? What is this? What are these happenings and situations trying to show me on a deeper level? What can I take from them? What can I release from them, right? And how can I uh, let spirit guide me more so? How can I follow my and trust my intuition more? How can I not let my fears, my insecurities, my pride, my ego, um, how can I let spirit sit in the driver's seat? How can I take a step back and detach a little bit and make the decisions that are going to lead me into this nine of pentacles, into these blessings, into this love, into the life that I came here to create, right? And I see my Scorpios focused on that and moving toward that right now. You're fighting that good fight. I am seeing that you're climbing your way to the top here, Scorpio, and you're moving through this portal. So let's see what energies are crossing you. Yep, family, for some of you, this is within the home. For some of you, this is within work. What energy is crossing Scorpio spirit? Yep, some of you, it's something with a mother figure. Family, I'm seeing family, brothers and sisters, friends, mother figures, possibly even fathers or, or divine or male figures in your life. I feel like my Scorpios are really working through some deep stuff. You are putting your energy into doing the work and into healing. And ultimately what I see this six of pentacles as is you pulling your energy from things that are draining you from things that are bringing you down and you're really putting time energy and focus on yourself and your growth your ascension here spirit is saying that you have come so far scorpio don't forget that take a second to appreciate and recognize that and truly how much of a badass you really are as you are in the midst of this purification and alignment with your divine destiny There's a message coming through about using the tools that you have gained up until this point, okay? And now we're going to pause for a second. Be brave. Spirit wants me to read this. <clears throat> Exploration. See, you're facing that true north or... or shifting until you are facing that be brave exploring new ground and territory is essential to moving forward once we overcome our fear of the unknown we often find the journey toward our new destination is rewarding and filled with personal growth while exploration of the soul is required to move through the next phase of your life travel is also the main feature now adventure awaits so pack your bags and make some plans. Short or long trips are likely now. Your soul is requiring new scenery. There's much to be learned through exploring nature, environment, relationships, and places. Nervous excitement will arise when you follow your dreams. Now Spirit is saying that feeling that you get, that excited feeling, Scorpio, you're very, very good. You are a feeler. If you follow that feeling and you continue to follow that feeling, what lights you up? What is that? If you continue to follow that feeling, you will continue to rise in vibration and they're just showing, they're showing you disappear. You will vibrate so high that you will be able to dematerialize so i think what spirit's trying to say is you are definitely ascending and there's just this energy of follow your bliss that is spirit speaking to you through your body through your feelings through your intuition through your emotions okay viewing the scenery from different heights is rewarding because the climb is filled with achievements milestones and personal progress by taking a step forward and realizing your hidden potential, you will find confidence as, you, as your reliance on others reduces. Sometimes to move towards something fabulous, we need to be brave. And we just had that strength card, didn't we? 
let go of your fear, let go of the past. Explore the pathways already available to you, but make sure that you create your own trail and walk your own track so that you can live your authenticity, your authenticity with integrity. Right now, you need to search and explore. There are many things to be found and uncovered from past experiences. Your soul is asking for you to wander, for the soul knows where it's going, for the soul knows where it's going. Let yourself roam free. You'll find new scenery, people, and communities to connect to. While your confidence grows, so does your independence. Leave your emotional baggage in the past and your backpack empty so you can create new memories and fun experiences. The affirmation for this card, Scorpio, is I am brave and courageous as I tread my new path with ease and security. Scorpio, this is this is a deep one. Let's look at your incoming energy. See what you have, uh, what you can expect moving forward. My brothers, this is my Phoenix family. And then we'll grab some advice and we'll close with a couple Oracle cards. What is incoming for Scorpio? Sheesh, all of these pentacles, all of this abundance, all of these blessings. Okay. Spirit's like, shut up and deliver the mess. Got you. Got you, gang. Scorpio, I see you choosing you. It's almost like you're snapping into reality or you're seeing things from this completely new perspective. It looks clean. It looks very much like it makes sense. You're seeing what needs to be left behind. You are just like in that exploration card, both cards. You're like, okay, I've been through it. I made it. It all happened for me. This is what it was for. This is what I'm taking. This is what I'm leaving. And you're going on this new adventure. You're putting one foot in front of the other toward your happiness as you truly awaken spiritually and release a whole old life. You're releasing old versions of yourself. You're releasing anybody and anything that no longer serves you. And you are becoming free. This is going to be cause for celebration here. Also, some of my Scorpios through your transformation are going to step into your light, into the spotlight, into your authenticity and be able to become this beacon of light for others. Scorpio, Lord knows you have really, really seen the bottom and Scorpio, you're a sign that that dives to the bottom um, and rises just like the Phoenix to the very top. You reach heights that no one else can reach here. And through that, I feel like what I'm seeing is I'm seeing people down here seeing you flying above and you're becoming an inspiration to others. Maybe a teacher. Maybe you're teaching people how to get through it. Maybe you're teaching people how to step into their own power. And I feel like it's through your own experience. Even if you're not, like I'm not going to teach nobody. Just you living in your authenticity, Scorpio, is going to inspire everybody around you. Whether you are having a conversation in passing or you're literally just passing somebody in the grocery store, that vibration is contagious. It's healing. It's transforming. You are the alchemist, Scorpio. You are truly the alchemist and you are being reborn. Feel like you're coming out of the birth canal here, family. I'm telling you, very, very. So you've been here. You've been incubating. You've been growing. You've been learning. This is where you're purified. The full moon here. This is where things reach their peak and you finally break free. You finally break free into this new dimension. You finally are spit out of the womb into this new world. And it's like, where do we go from here? What are we going to write in this new story? So... I see success with the Six of Wands. You have the judgment in the Six of Wands. This is out with the old, in with the new. This is you moving from a completely new space consciously, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. Um, and this is energetic balance within and without. I'm hearing on your soul's contract as well. It's like you've paid your dues here, Scorpio. What is the advice for Scorpio, please, Spirit? 
close out these heartbreaking cycles move away from anything that is causing turbulence or imbalance within or without release it i'm hearing scorpio release it release it that doesn't mean ignore it it means release it i'm not family spirits coming through for y'all heavy release it let the divine burn it away so you can step into your divine inheritance your birthright scorpio your advice is really i mean you're in this purification stage phase however you want to say it let the divine work on divine timing there's that surrender here because this new opportunity for abundance and for this very healed very beautiful um energy is coming through and i feel like the divine is basically saying scorpio focus on what's next get your game plan down what do you what's your wish upon a star and be still and know do not stress because the divine has you right chariot you are being pulled led guided into your blessings so set your sights high scorpio i feel truly set your sights high and close the cycles Scorpio, the world is yours, family. Patience. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Do not let those dark energies tell you that your blessings are not coming in. If that voice starts to creep in, shut it out. Mantras, japa, breath work, positive affirmations. Scorpio. Scorpio, you lack nothing. You literally lack nothing. And the divine loves you and has your back. Get me all emotional like in Aqua's reading. Sheesh. I'm connecting to some people who are going through some very, very powerful change. Take time to breathe out. Confidence is your key to success. What do we have for Scorpio family? This is beautiful. What do you need to release? Hold your vision the energy is gaining momentum they want one more surrender to the divine <laughs> spirit we see you we see you holy spirit we see you angels we see you guides we see you ancestors i really um let me see where are we at i'm gonna restart this I really want to grab one of these angel cards like we did in Cancer's reading. I really liked how that kind of the messages these cards bro brought through. This is from, this will be from, we're going to do Yogic Path first. And then I have this Notoria Tarot and Light, which is like the sister deck for the Goetia, the Goetic Spirits, which is like the angels and the demons. We're going to grab a card or two from the Angelic Spirits, see what angels are with you, see what angels uh would like you to work with them at this time we'll i'll show you the sigil you can draw up the sigil or connect in any way you feel guided or comfortable connecting um or not but the messages um have been beautiful so what is the message for scorpio please spirit krishna and hanuman with shvadistana on the sh shvadistana shvadistana on the bottom which is your sacral chakra we have ganesh as well which actually is what i saw in this energetic balance card <clears throat> ganesh resides in our muladhara in our root chakra and removes the blockages as our kundalini moves up through our energy centers to our crown chakra connecting us to the divine so i really do feel like some of you are having kundalini awakenings and your kundalini is rising and through that that divine energy is trying to make it through these energy centers you may be having pain or discomfort in some of your headaches stomach aches fluttering heart um cramps um even constipation sore lower back things like that i feel like ganesh is really trying to help you remove these blockages yep to destroy anything that is blocking that energy from making its way to your freedom okay i will OK, 
Okay. So, Pete, this is Lord Hanuman, God of Courage. You guys, theme of your reading is courage. I'll probably name your reading courage straight up. Hanuman represents the evolved mind. Oh, mantra. Om Namo Hanumate Namaha. Om Namo Hanumate Namaha. Hanuman represents the evolved mind and the potential we all... You can just look up Hanuman um, mantras on YouTube if that's something you feel guided to do. <clears throat> represents the evolved mind and the potential we all have to no longer be enslaved by our thoughts but rather surpass them. When Lord Rama asks Hanuman, how do you look upon me? Hanuman answers, when I believe I am the body, then I am your faithful servant. But when I know I am the soul, I know myself to be a spark of your eternal light. And when I have the vision of truth, you and I, my Lord, are one and the same. To draw upon Hanuman symbolizes that you are aware of this truth. You are more than just your physical body, your ego self, your personality, even your soul. The truth is that you are the divine, as we all are. Split from the same source, continue to practice meditative states where you are reminded of this universal truth to aid in your evolvement. That's literally what I said, where you where we look at everything in our reality as our true self manifests outwardly having this play this divine play so we can learn so we can evolve and ultimately so we can be so we can merge back in with the divine just like that vision i saw where your vibrations getting so high that you just disappear you can no longer occupy a human form because you know that's not you so you dematerialize I'm hearing Enoch. So that may be relevant to somebody, okay? Maybe some of you getting into devotional yoga, making an altar, um, offerings, prayer, reading your Bible, reading your Gita, reading your scriptures, whatever they may be, taking some time out of your day to really meditate, connect with the divine, to, to bow your head to the floor, um, to give thanks, to truly connect and be open to that guidance, Scorpio, okay? And let that creative, take that sexual energy, which I know is on 10, Scorpio season, right? Breath of fire, work that energy up your spine. That is helping. We can transmute that into power, into magic, into manifestation and straight up divine connection, okay? Healing, healing as that energy works up, it heals us, family. What is the message? And I just want to say I have, when I connected to Scorpio energy, my energy, I got a lot of energy, like a gust of energy, but it was almost like unstable. So I really do feel, I'm going to do some breath work after this reading to balance myself back out maybe somebody needs to jump into some breath work some kundalini yoga um to ground yourself and for some of you i feel like you will be getting a gust of this beautiful energy and if it comes through in the form of sexual energy passion like that like i said breath of fire Check out my Know Thyself playlist. Do that ground and clear your energy. Once you're grounded and cleared, do the Kabbalistic cross, connect to the divine, and then hit that breath of fire and picture that white energy. Picture a flame, a fire being stoked through your breath of fire and watch that kundalini energy moving up through your chakras, connecting to your crown or even to the, the top of the universe. Through using your will and your visualization, you start to um, consciously help that energy move up, right? But you let the divine do it. Shakti is her own presence, but you can use your will. Visualizing it will let Shakti, will let the divine know, okay, we're trying to get it up. We're ready, right? Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because we can either 
waste that energy we can squander that energy or we can use it to literally create our dream life to heal ourselves and those around us um you will do all of the works that i've done and you'll do many works far greater you say to a mountain move from here to here it will be done faith the size of a mustard seed y'all what's the message for scorpio thank you spirit Archangel Gabriel coming through for you. You guys, wow. How beautiful. We have the hermit on the bottom. Archangel, or the angel Daniel. But we have Gabriel with the Ace of Cups. Moon in Cancer energy. Maybe some of you have Moon in Cancer. Um, ooh, my ear just started ringing so hard. Scorpio spirit is saying to connect with your guides. Huh. You have number 33 and 74, which is an 11, 33, master number, two master numbers here. This is the seven of swords, which is Yahuya, Yahuya, the angel Yahuya. We're going to read these. Gabriel, the name means God, the Almighty. There at the top corner is the sigil. Feel free to draw that sigil. Pause this if you feel guided to draw that sigil to help you to connect with Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel of the element of water, the West. Gabriel, known as the left hand of God, conveys a fluid, ever-changing, nourishing, communic communicative, fruitful force connected to knowledge, memory, positive, and negative feelings. As water can quench first, can quench thirst, and excess of it can destroy. Even the clearest water, when deep enough, can drown. For this energy to transform into bountiful abundance and nourishment, both physical and mental, it must be allowed to flow freely toward harmonious choices and great works with receptivity and love. Otherwise, it will stagnate and degenerate. Just like I was saying, following that flow, what lights you up? What are you being pulled toward? Okay, spirits are really, really saying to trust your intuition and your guides at this time. I heard even if you're scared, even if it's something fearful, even if you're being led out of your comfort zone, okay? Yahuwah, the all-knowing God. <clears throat> the first angel we encounter belonging to the chorus of powers instills in our subconscious a necessary subordination that enables us to recognize our place in the world. Accepting self-critique also allows us to maintain an enlightened course through life. After working on this first step, life itself will place us in a new position one beyond our wildest dreams this position will force us to put aside our selfish desires lest violent insubordination interferes with the necessary context for our growth here is the sigil which is basically the symbol that you can use to invoke this angel's energy or you can just vibrate their name. Yehuiah. Um, so if anybody feels guided, definitely do that. If not, it's no big deal. You got the angels with you regardless, family. Um, taking responsibility for where we are in our lives no longer playing the victim if we always play the victim we will always be the victim like attracts like and our whole frequency our whole reality is based off of our frequency i feel like some of you scorpios are taking a major step in taking responsibility for your life for your actions for where you are at and as soon as you do that it opens up this portal to a new world so let's grab a message from Ma before we tap out and
I just want to say, Scorpio gang, if you made it this far, thank you so much for being in this space with us. Thank you all for always showing up, showing out, showing love like y'all do. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you drop me a comment um, down in the comment section below. Let me know uh, just even even just to claim this reading that you are literally moving into a new world and you're claiming your divine inheritance. You are taking this opportunity to move toward your blessings. Um, it is always greatly appreciated. You can trust that what is happening now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. That right time will be the best time when your readiness matches the requirements for success. Attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. And your most abundant successes manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that is happening in your life is part of how your prayers are being answered. A new order is to be established and you are being led to it. Ma, what's the last message for... Scorpio, please. Kalika Tantrika. Kali overcomes karma. Realigns us with our path when we veered off course. Reverses the momentum of negativity and detaches draining energy cords. Restoring us to full vitality. There goes that energy, right? It may seem like your will is being thwarted or you're not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her actions will benefit you. Trust. Scorpio family, that is what I have for you. I hope this message has found you well and in great spirits, man. I hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take our deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will and our visualization to draw in this divine cosmic energy, this prana, this chi energy. We're going to picture it as white or gold light filling up our energetic and physical bodies. We're going to Breathe in as deeply as we can, pause, hold the breath at the top, and imagine ourselves glowing as bright as we can. Then as we release, we're going to exhale very forcefully like we're filling up a balloon, watching any negativity, any doubt, any fear, any sadness, any blockages, any anger, any lower frequencies, regardless of what they are. We're going to watch that all in the form of black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this beautiful healing energy into this love into this gold right so first let's take a deep full breath out completely empty and clear your lungs and then we'll get this breath in breathe out now breathe in Hold it, squeeze Mulabanda, raise that energy up your spine. Now pull it down, lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter. And release, release, release. Scorpio family. Sheesh, we out here. Have a blessed rest of your day, y'all, and I will see you beautiful beings on the next reading.